When we learned last December that Ashes of Creation's Alpha 2 would finally be dropping in quarter 3 of 2024, we knew that the months leading up to this massive event would bring us some of the best updates for the game that we've seen so far. Many of us have been waiting years to get to this point, the first true experience in Ashes of Creation. Yes, we had Alpha 1 and Alpha 0, but those two tests look nothing like what we were about to experience as shown by the last 6 months worth of showcases. In those last 6 months, we have gone on over 6 hours of Alpha 2 footage, with Intrepid showcasing the latest features they're working on to bring into Alpha 2, and it's been extremely exciting. And if you're one of those people who don't follow Ashes of Creation too closely, well this is your chance to catch up to everything you may have missed. Starting back in January, we got our second look at caravans, but our first look at PvP, with Intrepid bringing in Phoenix Initiative testers into the Alpha 2 environment for the first time as far as we know. Throughout the stream, we saw two groups go to war over caravan goods, as one group's caravan was sacked, stolen, and those resources taken into a neighboring node via a new caravan, while the devs and PI testers fought each other the entire way. This showcase was really the first one we have seen with so many players on screen fighting each other testing out different archetypes and really bringing this massive feature in Ashes of Creation to life. Not only that though, but we got our very first look at any form of naval content that we have seen for the game. In this case, a caravan embarking into a river, turning into a raft to take an alternate path, while players controlled and defended that raft as it sailed downstream. Heading into February, Intrepid dropped the Commission Preview, one that everyone thought was going to be a pretty boring stream. But Intrepid proved us wrong as it was our first look at the most basic form of questing in Ashes of Creation. These quests can be selected from a board within a node, ranging in difficulty, and be a segue into a greater adventure. What starts as a simple commission will lead you into active areas in the world where you will discover various NPCs handing out quests, world events that have you taking on elite mobs for loot, and eventually they could bring you into a story arc that is triggered by the events being completed or failed in this area. This stream, while on the surface seemed like it'd be pretty bland, really gives us a good view of that day-to-day -day interaction Intrepid intends for you to do while you set out and explore the world of Vera beyond the walls of your node. And while January and February both set an extremely high bar to hit, March came in even stronger with the Fighter Archetype preview, along with our first in-game look at the Renkai Orcs. This showcase has been deemed the best so far out of what Intrepid has shown us for archetype previews, and while we have seen the fighter before in the basic weapon attack showcase in 2022, and kind of jumping around in the background in every video since then, it was a huge surprise when we were finally shown the progress this archetype has made. The fighter is exactly what you would want from a fighter warrior class, putting you sword first into battle against your enemies, giving you tons of choices when it comes to single target, AoE, and movement abilities, but not only that, this was by far the best look yet we have gone on Intrepid's intended hybrid combat system as we saw this fighter take down many foes in both tab target stance and action combat. From here, April gave us a bit of a chance to breathe. By far the weakest stream of the year, but far from boring. We got our first gameplay of the Sand Squall Desert, along with Intrepid showing off some of the lighting and skybox changes they have made as they continue to dive deep into what Unreal Engine 5 has to offer. We also got one of the best looks yet at the weapon skill tree, where Intrepid showed us many ways you can customize the wand to fit your playstyle. Whether that be a more direct damage focus or a focus on beam attacks, this weapon has a ton to offer. May is where things really start to pick up though. In the beginning of the month, Intrepid gave us a new AMA with four content creators against Steven Sharif, where Vladis Gaming, Nice Gaming, Sunny from Lore Forged, and Jamie Chaos brought their questions to the man himself to hear all about lore systems and much more. But that was just the beginning of May because the end was probably one of the best moments in the last two years, as Intrepid gave us our first look at massive node wars as two sides set out to take on various PvP and PvE objectives in order to gain control of enemy territory or defend their own in over an hour of non-stop PvP action. Well, non-stop once Steven actually gets to the point of declaring the war, but you know what I mean. 
Alongside this, they dropped the verbal NDA for PI testers, whom were able to talk about everything and anything revolving those six node war tests they took part in. This is what really got the hype going, finally being able to hear actual players and their thoughts and feedback on these tests. And while we learned there were a few hiccups along the way, we also learned that Intrepid is insanely fast at responding to feedback and fixing issues with these tests, as each test after the first one showed tons of the concerns already addressed, along with continuing to tweak and fix the networking that sounded as though it may have made test 1 a pretty painful experience. The confidence in most of those who have tested in PI has kept the hype going, as the majority are quite sure Ashes of Creation is still on track for quarter 3. Going into June, well, Steven got sick, and the stream that was supposed to be on Friday is now on July 3rd. But we already know what it's going to be about. Intrepid is diving into the tech this month, talking about their plans for server meshing. While we don't know any specifics yet, we do know that if Intrepid manages to put in their own version of dynamic meshing, similar to what Star Citizen is working on, it could be a game changer for MMORPGs going forward when it comes to large scale battles and server performance staying strong no matter how many people are on the screen. This stream is now also officially kicking off the start of quarter 3, you know, that time frame given to us for Alpha 2, so it is expected that Intrepid will narrow down that time frame and at the very least give us the month we can expect to be jumping into Alpha 2. And while this isn't confirmed, it's kind of just what everybody is expecting from the community at this point, and so don't blame me if they don't do it because it's still there's still a chance it might not happen. I do think we can pretty much rule out July for Alpha 2 at this point though as Alpha 1 spot testers are still waiting to get into the game to help test and I'm pretty sure Intrepid would have told us by now if Alpha 2 was launching in July. Even though we still have a few months to go, the second half of 2024 is expected to be one of the biggest in Ashes of Creation's history. In the next three months, we will finally be playing the game, the content creator program should be launching and we will get our first look at the Bard Showcase, as well as Intrepid giving us a very good idea of all the content that we will be able to test in the beginning of Alpha 2 when we once again step through the Divine Gateways.